Hello and welcome back to another SnowRunner video. Today we're going to be using the seismic. We have three, po three points we have to explore the north, south, west. Okay. Now I've took the liberty of scouting them out, finding them, and I have them marked on the map so it'll be pretty fast for us. The first one, as you can see, is Hello and welcome back to another SnowRunner video. Today we're going to be using the seismic. We have three, po three points we have to explore the north, south, west. Okay. Now I've took the liberty of scouting them out, finding them, and I have them marked on the map so it'll be pretty fast for us. The first one as you can see, is 978 kilometers away, or meters away, my bad. So that's where we're going to first. We'll do the first, the north one, south and west. This is part of what we have to do to unlock the quarry map, which is the one of the other parts of the Russian map that I need to unlock. And then I'll have all of them unlocked. Um, we're going to cruise up here in our truck. And we got to go all the way down through there. So, boom, boom, boom. Then we take the first right we come up on. Go all the way down through there and stay to the right, it looks like. Okay. Um. I'm hoping we're going to have enough fuel. I don't know. I don't really know what to expect. I've never used this thing before. So, But in order to get to the other part of the map, this is what we have to do today. Okay, and this is the geo exploration part. So we're going to take this nice big thing here and attempt to go and find some oil. I think the sun is just coming up on us. I'm not 100% sure, but I think it is. Um, so, should be all right if not I may I probably will just change it to daytime not 100% sure I have to wait and see how I feel when the time comes we didn't miss the turn did we I haven't even really been paying attention been too busy talking uh, well, oh, here's a right at the first right. This looks like a right to me. Now the good thing about this truck is it is all time all wheel drive and dip lock on. So no matter what gear we're in, what range we're in, we're always got all the wheels spinning. How are we going to a mall? The biggest thing is flip over some reason I always end up flipping over. We're gonna try not to, but we probably will. So that means we'll have to get another truck, drive it all the way out here, flip this one over and continue on with what we were doing. But that is all just part of the game. I did put the snow chains on this one, or chains on them, I don't know if they're <coughs> actually called snow chains, but they are chains, and I did put them on. I didn't, wait like, I didn't like the way that tree was looking. I had to take care of it. What kind of bridge is this? Felt like a Russian bridge. <laughs> Whoa. 
Oh, that's great. That's a good place to spot. Spot. That's a good spot to stop. Good God, I cannot talk. Okay, yep. We need to turn right here, then we just stay on the road, no more turns. Sinking right down off in that mud. I'm just gonna go ahead and put it in low high. Switch it back to auto. You hear that? We'd be getting close. Oh, easy with this. We do not want to flip it. So we're going to go ahead and put it low, low. And we're just going to ease. It in. Just ease it through it. That's what she said. And we made it. Okay, let's follow this road right around through here. Ditch, not be. I look at an itch. So I'm gonna say right around in here. It's gonna be a good spot to try it. Okay, so first things first. Let's put the brake on. Put it in neutral. Always like to put it in neutral. You don't have to, but I like to. Okay. And now we're going to. I have no idea. I don't know how to use it. Attach trailer. Maybe that's not it. Maybe it's this dark spot over here. I'm pretty sure they said it was a dark spot. We're just going to kind of mess around with it and see, I guess.
Okay, there we go. That's one done. So, if you'd like to see the map and where it is, there we go. North is straight up. There's the garage we restarted right there. There we go. Got the fuel station, quarry. And we're off to the next one. Let's continue on with our Russian uh, oil exploration map here. We still got to do the south and west points. And um, yeah, so it's the next day in real life. Because nothing was going right. <laughs> All right, so let's go see where we need to go here. Okay, down to the corner of the map to get there. It's daytime, nighttime, or what? But we'll find out soon, I guess. last time or the last one or the last part of the last one we sink the truck and bury it halfway into the ground oh that was bad i believe we want to go this way that's not a good place to stop but yeah i should have That's all right. Full of fuel, good to go, no damage yet. We'll hit a rock here in a minute, or dandelion, damage the engine, there we go. Be a big ditch there, wouldn't it? Pile it. Pile, pile through it. Power through it. There you go. I get it right one of these times. Too many words with B. B, B, people, people, pooping. Well, I've never been down this road. I don't think. Maybe I have been. Yeah, I have. Yeah. Branch. That's a strong tree branch.
no, 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 no. Don't flip over. Oh, that was close. Almost. I mean, it was right there on the edge. If I wouldn't have turned, it would have flipped. That's another tip. Always turn. If you, if you start to roll over, always turn into the roll. What I mean by that is turn whichever way the top of your truck is leaning, turn the wheel that way. Turn the tires that way. And give it gas. Don't hit the brakes, because that's just gonna make it roll more. Hold it to the floor. That applies in real life and in game. A lot of times it happens so fast that you can't even, uh, you ain't got time to react to it. The human reaction time is just too slow. We're not even going very fast. Uh, by the fallen bricks.
looks like a valley. Maybe I could drive up this little valley here. What is that big thing right there? A rock. I think so. Right there. I could just go up behind the house there. That'd probably be easier. I won't have to climb up that big ass hill. <coughs> it looks halfway flat. <coughs> Give that a try and see what happens. Huh? Change it to morning time. We'll put it in a little high. side of it. Don't want to be leaning. Couldn't hear the beeping in there there for a second. All I heard was just the turbo winding. Nope, nope, nope. We passed it. Back up. Did we? Yeah. Go this way and see what happens. Nope, okay, let's go the other way. I think I can do it. No.
for the winches. on that damn other tree I ran over and then I decided to turn and that screwed it all up. It's like right down here maybe. more left. We've got West Point. And then we're not going to be completely done. we still got other parts that we have to do. <coughs> we have um, Derrick delivery. Drilling equipment delivery. I don't know if we have to do all this or not though. Bam, bam, bam. These are all world missions, I think. World, world uh, yeah. Quests, whatever you want to call them. Objectives. an air conditioner on top of my truck. My big ass engine. Right behind the cab. Right behind the There is a five axle crusher. that I actually own could have used would have worked all right for this but it might have been a bit too big though I mean this one seems to Okay, 
so we won't have to go all the way that way. We need to really cut across. That's a big mountain range right there, though. Know, but uh, should I take that road there and cut across? I mean, we could go all the way up and just sneak through there, but. I'm not going to plan anything out. Plans never work. I should just follow the road, but I'll probably end up cutting through the woods or something. And that always turns out bad. I mean, I was... Okay, I was right up, I was like 20 meters away from it. And I got wedged up into a group of trees. Couldn't, there was no way out. I don't even know how it got in there. There was no way of getting out. So I had to reset the vehicle back to the garage. And that's basically where it picked up. sink and we're sinking I'm going to say we're going to cut through here let's see we got 196 liters of fuel left we burnt 300 no we burnt what 150 a little over 150 155 Six. What the hell is that place? Whoops. Rock fell off that cliff up there and took out that fence. You see that? I seen it. the bridge. Pretty crappy looking bridge. Is that right there? Parts? I think so. We're about to run over there and get those parts. I don't want that. I keep hitting that damn button trying to zoom in. Oh, come on. Come on. Take it away. Take it all away. Thank you. So, parts location. Bam, right there. I'll try to face it north. Here we go. Just for reference. Right, I'll put the circle around it. rescue mission, not a part. Lost in the rocks. Hmm. Oops, there goes another fence. Playing Mr. Jones again. That damn bus driver. 
that old dude, that old man or something else. If he take days off just to go fishing. Like the hell with it, I don't want to drive a damn gold fishing. Him and his big ass clown nose. Yeah, it wasn't as big as a clown nose. It was like a big ball on the end of it. Kind of. It was bigger on the end of it, the tip. And he had three hairs that stuck out and they tried to grab you every time you walked by. I scared the shit out of him. Oh. Still have nightmares. That's been 20 something years ago. 24. Okay. So we could either take that one or one uh, next one up. Oh. Let's take that one. That looks decent. Where I lost those trailers at? No. I didn't lose them, I just left them. One of them made me mad and pushed it further into the swamp. The other one's just sitting beside the road. I was attempting to do it legit, like, and use the crane to pick the truck up, put it on the trailer to haul it off, and I ended up just flat towing it, using the, using the winch. Because it's just, yeah, you, it's impossible to pick the car up and put it on the trailer by yourself. Now, if you do it two people, you might be able to, I don't know. But I know by yourself, no. You would better, don't even try to put it on the trailer, just flat to it. Just use the winch to it. You're wasting your time. It's not going to work. Oh man, no, where'd my thing go? That's alright. Um, she's right up in. Um. I was almost to it. I think it's like right up in here somewhere. Somewhere right around that area. Down in the big valley through the pond. The lake, whatever, the swamp, marsh. Oh, gotta go slow. We're not the far end, we'll dig in. We'll take damage. Ugh. Think about cutting through there, but that looks like it's going to be pretty, uh, pretty soft. There's not a lot of trees growing through there. Like, well, there's little ones, but no big ones. I don't know if that applies in this game or not, but usually in real life, that means the ground's not really all that stable. It's not hard. It's not together real good. Roots help hold it together. No roots. Water soak in. Day, no trees suck up water. Yeah. We'll just follow the road. We're going to play it safe. Follow the road. I totally forgot about the fuel situation. So much for that trip planning, huh?
Well, we just went right by it, too. Son of a bitch. We're in the warehouse. Something right there. I don't know what that is. That looks like a car, though, probably. Get away to the quarry. We gotta go all the way over here. <sighs> Should I go back and get fuel? This is where I went last time. You can see how close I was. Where the map's uncovered right there. I was like right down off in here and then right between the trees. Um, let's go back and get some fuel. We still got half a tank, but I don't think half a tank is going to get us there and back to a fuel place. So we'll turn around, go get fuel. That'll save from having to get another vehicle and drive it all the way up here. And then we'll have two vehicles stuck up here. And yeah, we could recover it back to the garage. I don't really like doing that though because it's just it's not realistic. I mean, you can't just hit the button and you're back to the garage in real life. I mean, you'd have to pay a big tow bill. And, you know. Okay. So basically, come the same way I went. definitely think the days should be longer. Days longer, nights shorter. That's probably going to end up jacking up the time though, but whatever. I don't really, it's not like we got time limit on most of them. Some of the side ones you do have a time limit on. Most of them you don't. I'm trying to read the signs. I can't read the signs. It's in Russian. I can't read Russian. I can speak a little bit. I can't read. Hell, I have a hard enough time trying to read English. Oh, let's not go that way. Let's see. Yeah, I can clear those stumps. I raised. I don't know. That differential's like a better pretty low. Yeah. I'll try it and see. Nothing else will run the bitch over. Uh huh. Mistakes were made. <laughs> Definitely mistakes were made. At least we've got stumps we can hook on to. Oh no. Oh, uh, it fell in between those two axles, didn't it? So much for that diff lock. it sideways. Hopefully it'll slide out between the two. Kind of wiggle it back and forth. Might be ripping the drive line out between them. Yeah, 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 the switch point's higher. Let's do this. Get off there. Release.
go here. And what I'm hoping is that this will lift the side of the truck up. And hopefully make it so we can pull out. But it's not. There we go. Get stuck on now. I'm not even hitting anything. Is there a stump in the middle? There is, yep, right there. Right on the inside of that front, the second axle right on the inside of that tire okay we got one behind us we can we can save this okay let's pull the front end around um Now what? I'm hitting that tree right there laying down in a Yep. been better off going through the mud. Well, there's no repair shop. Or service hub as they call it. <coughs> <coughs> Okay, we'll, we'll drive up here, repair our crap, and continue on with what we were doing. Repaired, truck is fully repaired. 
happy to. on this all the way to the pond. It's been raining for very long, did it? Three big rocks right in the middle of the road. And a tree with super strong branches. Swimming in the cement pond, Ma. Yeehaw. It's been a hell of a year, isn't it? Wow. They're trying to impeach the president. Got COVID virus. Almost started a World War Three. Everybody mad at the Chinese. Chinese is going down. But now we've got aliens are starting to invade. What are, what are they going to say next? Oh, and the great toilet paper shortage. Can't forget that. I don't want to be have to be put in the history books. Great toilet paper shortage of 2020.
and it's cold outside still hmm. and the year ain't even half over yet close not quite but you wonder what the hell's gonna happen the next other half Robots are going to take over the world. Already started with the self-driving trucks. Snyder bought a whole bunch of them. Snyder's one of the large companies in the United States. You don't know? He's not only in the United States. I do believe they have others in other countries too. I'm not sure which. But yeah, they've... Snyder and what was the other one? I think it was like a carrier, FedEx or UPS or something. I'm not 100 sure, something like that. And they're going to have nobody in it. They are being run out of a control room. So basically what they've been doing so far on testing them is they have been uh, uh, recruiting truck drivers that have been driving for a while and have a good record to go sit in the control room and control the trucks. Um, I, you know, I don't really mind automated vehicles, I don't guess, but I don't think that we are ready for them. Because there's a lot of stuff that people could do to them. And that would, it would be very bad. Very, very bad. Um, maybe they got systems to cover it and stuff, but I don't know. I mean... What's well, going to stop somebody from hacking into a truck and, you know, controlling it and driving it to their house and loading this shit? I mean, yeah, well, you put automatic locks on the door. Well, you know, a truck door is really, really easy to get into. I mean, it's a lot easier than a car. Maybe they won't even have doors. Maybe it'll just be a box on a frame. Or the engine. I mean, I don't know. But. Hopefully they got something planned. I mean, if they're going to go and re If they have to reinforce it, that's going to add a lot more weight to the truck. The truck already weighs 12,000 pounds. That's just truck itself. That's standard, you know, truck, U.S. truck with a sleeper on it, a standard size, is about 12,000 pounds. An empty drive van trailer, eh, roughly 12, 14,000 pounds. And I know, yeah, well, you're taking a driver out, so that's a lot of extra. 150 to 300 pounds? 150 to 150 pounds. But if you have to add in all the equipment, that is going to end up weighing quite a bit. Um, you know, I don't know. I just don't see them putting armor on one. It's something that they would do. you're still going to have to have some kind of cooling and heating system for all the electronics in it. I 
mean, yeah, you could do like a forced air, air vent coming from inside, blowing across, whatever, I don't know. Then you're gonna get water and shit in it. And then you got the fact that there is still human drivers driving cars on the road which account for a lot of the crashes that happens with 18 wheelers trucks heavy vehicles so I mean yeah it's gonna be able to tell if somebody cuts it off but if they brake check it is it gonna be able to respond fast enough to you know do anything And what happens if you lose control of one of them? You know? Then they might already have answers for all those questions, I don't know. But, I don't. I mean, I use driving truck. I know what it's like out there. It's the main part that I have with the, the anonymous vehicles is that the or autonomous, whatever the hell, the um, fact that you still got other retarded people out there driving on the road. You know they're going to be doing insurance claims and trying to get that thing to wreck to collect money. I, I mean, they do that with a regular driver. They're definitely going to be doing it with. Autonomous truck. It's yeah. I don't see it as a good thing. Not yet, anyway. To save a few bucks is yeah. But I guess time will tell. I mean. We gotta figure out some way to get through this damn swamp. Pulling that one out. Yep, I knew it. That was a little bitty one. They won't even turn. I mean, you turn the wheel and it keeps going straight. Oh, I know what that boy that's seen that box over here. That's the uh, the little point checkpoint thing to travel to in the other map. Gotta fix this stupid night time. <laughs> really? Can't go forward, can't go backwards. It's just starting to piss me off now. Get the fuck up there. I'm 
on these rocks. I've already been up here once. with the little scout vehicle. Oh, back to the damn woods again. Wouldn't be too bad if you wouldn't get hung up on trees underneath. Look at that tree. Break the fucking branches off. You can't tell me this thing ain't strong enough to break the branches on the tree. Could be right around here somewhere. I go stuck on a damn tree again. How the hell you get a tree stuck in the front of it like that?
like that. That's going to flip us over. north. I went right by it. I, was, I went all the way down to here. I mean, I was right there by it too yesterday. Oh, damn. Okay, what's the other thing? How do they expect me to do business here? I can't even talk to the neighboring territory because there is no radio tower. Please, would you take a look at the old tower and see if it can be repaired. Sure, why not? I know I said I didn't like doing this, but I'm just going to 